There are no bad markets. It's just the wrong investment strategies. Hello, everyone. So I'm Mike Beer from Mike Beer Investments. And I see that there's a little bit of negativity or I should say a little, uh, a lot on uh, on real estate, where a few years ago, uh, real estate investing was the best thing under the sun. So we're seeing some depressed uh, values, especially on the residential side. Um, the cash flows are uh, are becoming uh, difficult for uh, for investments, uh, and then that's because a lot of it because of interest rates uh, pushing pushing uh, up uh, significantly uh, compared to uh, compared to a few years ago. Um, and then also a lot of investors which have purchased uh, uh, condominiums that are pre-construction a few years ago that are coming available on market. Um, we're expecting to assign them or take them over uh, are, are having a, a, a huge shock because uh, banks are valuing those condominiums a lot lower than they expected and their mortgage payments are a lot more so that, uh, that they're experiencing a lot of negative uh, cash flow. So it can be a bit of a uh, roller coaster and Definitely a few years ago, especially two, three years ago, when I was hearing investors that expected to triple their money in one year on, uh, on, on real estate, I just thought that's the craziest thing under the sun. So now we are in a different cycle where everybody's not necessarily a genius. However, the most sophisticated investors will will thrive and then will overcome this market. Um, it is uh, it is difficult for everybody on the commercial side as well. Um, on the residential apartment buildings, we have the dep depressed uh, cash flows uh, because of the uh, interest rates on on, on certain uh, certain number of our buildings. But some of some others are uh, doing particularly well. So on the positive side there continues to be a demand for housing. And that's because our government continues to bring in more and more people into Canada at, at very, very fast rates. So there is a there is a housing supply shortage. So that means um, tenants continue to look for, for properties and rents have been increasing um, substantially. And that's partially uh, because of interest rates because the housing uh, housing uh, values follow uh, interest rates, which has been shown for years and years and years, um, and as well as because of uh, supply. So we've been seeing increased, uh, uh, increased uh, rents uh, across the market, and that's been helping to tamper some of the negative cash flows on the, uh, uh, on the interest side. And the intention for the government is not to continue to to have high interest rates because it's not it's not good for the market uh it's not good for the economy the, it's, it is a measure to really tamper inflation so as soon as inflation uh starts going down and analysts are talking about uh next year um, the government will be lowering the uh, the interest rates. Whether that happens uh, at the beginning of next year or later, uh, it's a matter of time. It's very it's very cyclical. It's been done in history uh, over time. So, what I'm telling you is, for every single market cycle, uh, definitely look at different strategies. So now you can see that people are not necessarily jumping on deals, purchasing real estate, but uh, certain sellers are not doing well with um, a certain, uh, especially on the residential side, are not dealing well with their investments. So they're opting to, to sell uh, their asset uh, at a pretty significant discount. So what we're looking at is does that asset make sense to buy right now? Now we're not betting for that asset to increase in huge amounts in, in, va in value uh, over the next 12 months. However, if the numbers make sense, um, if, uh, if the cash flow is where it needs to be, um, are we buying in at a discount? If yes, then definitely we are going to uh, look at purchasing more and more of these assets, despite the fear, despite the 
um, despite the uh, pessimism in the market, you don't have a lot of opportunities like this. So I believe the time window for, for this is uh, it's, it's months. It's a number of months before things start to shift. And once they do shift, the people that have bought uh, in a down market uh, are going to definitely benefit. So uh, I encourage you to look at the market as a cyclical market that goes uh, up and down and goes through different stages and, and not necessarily something that's either negative or positive. So right now may not be the best time to sell real estate investments. However, uh, the right opportunities are presenting themselves. Um, definitely, we see that on the residential side as well as on the apartment building and commercial uh, side as well. So remember that it's uh, there is no bad market, just wrong strategies or right strategies uh, in this case. And uh, think about where you want to be in five years, not what the market is doing in this instance. Uh, and then uh, invest wisely and take it from there. So if you haven't already signed up, sign up for the uh, Mike's Investor Circle. We got more, uh, more stuff like this, as well as we have uh, opportunities to, um, to look at uh, different kinds of investments in the uh, apartment building space uh, as well. All right. Take care.